Hi everyone, I hope this finds you well. It's October 11th, 2022, and I thought I would just check in and see how you guys are doing, see what's new in your world, and yeah, just do a little check in. I want to do another soul gazing video soon. I have a cold at the moment, so I don't think I'll do that <laughs> right now, but um, I want to another time soon. So in the meantime, I thought I would just say hi. I have a barley drink here. I really wanted coffee, but it's probably around what time, like seven. So I figured it's a little late for a caffeinated beverage. Um, yeah, so I uh, I recently joined this like you know what I'd call it just like this like community group thing online that a YouTuber I like had started. And I felt drawn to doing it and each month there's a monthly intention set and there are these weekly activities you can participate in. It's kind of like self-reflective activities and you can share it or not share it. So this month has been abundance. It's my favorite month ever, by the way. <laughs> Happy October, everyone. <laughs> I haven't had a video yet this month. Um... And this month's intention is abundance, which is awesome because I was planning on making that, making it that my intention for the month anyways, because I have this other journal book I, yeah, I have this journal book, I don't have it on me, where every month you can create an intention, so I like doing that, and I was going to make it abundance, and then it's like abundance in that thing too, man. So there was an activity that was suggested today that I did that I loved so much, so I thought I would share it. That basically entails reflecting on all the things that you already have that make you feel abundant or the ways in which you're already abundant. And I liked that so much. So I really like, and I've shared this before various times, but I really like doing gratitude lists or just thinking about, thinking about the things that I'm already grateful for. But I don't know if I've ever really thought about, I feel like I'm already out of breath. <laughs> I think I have a sinus infection, um, but <laughs> like just talking, <laughs> it's really funny, um, but I know your voice sounds different. So, so earlier I, so you don't have to do these activities. You can if you want to, and you can choose to share them. So I chose to share it and I was so excited by it because it's funny. I think maybe a lot of people, including myself, when you think of the word abundance, it can often be correlated with money, right? But it doesn't have to. And I know that, what's this, my hair? Looks like a halo. <laughs> I think it's just the lighting. What the hell? It's my aura. <laughs> no. Um, it's just it's like really kind of not great camera and not great lighting. Um, I'm going to be very sidetracked. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so, oh man, it was just so exciting for me thinking about all the things that I felt abundant for. And as I was saying, I think it's easy to equate abundance with like financial abundance or financial wealth, like how much money you have, but there's so many other things, right? That can make you feel abundant. So I decided to write down in my journal quickly. I didn't spend like a long time on it, but I just wanted to write down the things and ways in which I already feel abundant. And so I thought to share that in case anyone wanted to try it because it made me feel so good today just thinking about all those things and the ways I feel abundant. And it doesn't even have to really be your life exactly. Like for instance, one of the things I wrote was fresh air and clean water. Like that's involved in my life, of course, but it's not specifically my life. Whereas some of the things I wrote pertaining to my own life and the ways that I feel abundant besides that are, you know, abundance of loved ones and good memories and life experience and um, memories related to travel that I've done. And so I've had a lot of like funny, cool things happen while traveling. And there's just so many things just thinking about all the flowers in the yard that are so beautiful. There's so many different kinds and 
where I live, there's a lot of hiking trails around here and there's lakes and it's just like really beautiful. So, and crystals, I have a lot of crystals. I love them. <laughs> so I'm not as crazy about them. I think I bought my first crystal in 2020 and it was a Lemurian quartz crystal. And once I got it in the mail, I just instantly fell in love and it kind of spurred my crystal obsession. I bought a bunch, but now I'm like pretty chill on them. I still really love the ones I have, but I'm not as like, ah, about them. Um, but yeah, those are some of the things I wrote that I feel abundant in. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I think I said loved ones. I wrote um, like my animals I love and they're lovable. <laughs> um what else? Maybe I'll look really quick. But yeah, I just want to share that because I find, at least for me, I really enjoy self-reflection and I find it really cool and I like being asked questions that inspire deep thought. So I realize too, like for instance, in job interviews, it's something that can be pretty nerve-wracking. But at the same time, I like the aspect where you're asked questions about like, I don't know, that really gets you thinking about yourself and why you might be good at certain things and what have you. So I shared some of them on here. Good food, I wrote. Clothes I really like. Beautiful land to live on and be surrounded by. Great connections and friendships. I've been really blessed with, like whether or not they're still in my life, I've been blessed with beautiful friendships and connections throughout my life and I feel really grateful for that and luckily I still have people I love and feel really connected to at this moment in time also. And I wrote video games and video game systems. Luckily, my dad, when I was a kid, he would buy video game systems and like video games for them. So he kind of gave them all to me because they're not really his thing anymore. So it's awesome. I have like all these old systems and everything. Um, love, joy, restaurants and coffee shops I love in the surrounding areas, kindness, cozy blankets, a cozy room. I think I mentioned clean water already, but if I didn't, that's one. Inspiration, creativity, laughs, humor, and books. So those are the things I wrote, just in case you need some inspiration if it's something that resonates to do. And what else? I, if you follow my channel, you probably know I like to read, so... I'm still reading the Sadhguru. Oh, I didn't share the video, actually. Um, I made a video, like a reading video, and I didn't upload it. <laughs> but one of the things, one of the books I'm reading... Um, I'm over halfway through. I'm almost done with it. And I gotta get it back to the library, actually. Ah! Um, <laughs> I recently linked my phone to my MacBook. So I, I turned my ringer off so it wouldn't go off during the thing, but um, I'll turn the sound off actually. It doesn't do anything. Um, this book, Sadhguru, it's really good actually. Over oh, halfway through that, I'd recommend that. So I've been reading that and I started getting into this one. This is more fiction, but what's really interesting is I think it's based on the Akashic Records, if you've ever heard of that. So this is really fascinating. Um, I will say when I started it, it was just like really depressing kind of, um, but I think about the part where it might be getting good now, so we'll see. But when I first started reading it, I was like, I don't know if I want to read this book because it's like really depressing. And then lastly, I read this one, I bought this last year and read it very quickly, and then I had the random urge to read it again um, the other day, and I'm already almost through with it. Um, because I really like it and it's really easy to read, I'd recommend this one as well. And is there anything else I was going to share? Um, based on how I felt and how I've heard people in my life have felt this past month, I would say, especially well, like the month of October, maybe a little before that, I've heard described as a very like intense time. So if you're feeling any intensity, know that you're not alone. And it doesn't mean, like, a bad thing, but if you're just feeling, like, a lot of stuff or if there's, like, a lot of shifts and changes, like, you're not lonely, <laughs> all is well, just, like, keep on keeping on. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't anything else to share, except there's one card. I have oracle cards, too. It's kind of, like, I started getting into crystals and oracle cards around the same time. 
And there's one I've pulled a lot, and I have to read again what it means, but it's, I have just on my desk, I forgot to grab it. Um, it's kind of dark in here, but it says, make a mission statement for your soul. And I think that's a really cool idea because say you're looking at a company website or something, most places have a mission statement. And it can be cool to see what certain companies stand for. So if you think about like, what is it that you stand for? Like, what do you want your life to be about? It's really cool to think about. And I actually wrote in the notes folder of my phone, I think maybe last year, I want to see it again, but I wrote basically kind of like, I don't want to say a mission statement, but almost like a life goal, essentially. And I'd love to see what I wrote. I think I remember what I wrote. But um, yeah, I just love to share that in case it's anything that resonates to think about as well. And lastly, feel free to share how you've been, like what's been new with you. And I'd also love to know what your guys' dreams are, even just to think about it. You don't have to share it. But one of my favorite things is like randomly asking people what their dreams are. There was one time I worked with a guy who I asked that question to. I forget how old he was, but he was probably like... 25 around there like in his early 20s I would say and I asked him what his dream is and he was like I've never thought about that like no one's ever asked me that and I thought that was so fascinating so I really enjoy hearing what people's dreams are so if you want to share that feel free if not that's fine and it doesn't have to be job related either like just overall dream like something you'd love to embody like something you'd love to achieve be experience so um yeah, and I think the last thing I thought to share too is um, maybe this is kind of like a comparison mindset. I'm not sure. But so I recently have been watching The Great British Baking Show with my boyfriend and we like love it. It's so awesome. <laughs> um, it's really enjoyable, kind of corny, like big time the humor, but it's really fun to watch. So I was talking about one of the judges on the show. Oh, no, I actually wasn't talking about her. My boyfriend looked up info on her because we both wanted to know um, the background of the people who are, like, there's two judges and then two comedians slash actors that are there, too, on the cast. And this one lady, so he was, like, reading about the thing to me, um, the different things that she's accomplished or has done, and so he's listing these things off. And I didn't even talk to him about this yet. But there was just so many things. And mind you, she's in her uh, 80s. I think she's like 82 or something like that. But she's done all these things and I'm just thinking about it. And I think it can be easy sometimes to have a comparison mindset. And I'm a lot younger than 82, I know that. But um, I think sometimes it's easy to see the things that people accomplish in their lives and maybe have this mindset of like, oh my gosh, like what have I done? Like, cause I know for me, I have this, like, I definitely want to leave a mark on the world and what way I'm not sure. But one thing I do know for sure is one of the things I should say, a goal that I had, and it's kind of shifted now, but one of my main goals when I was younger was to change or better the life of at least one person in my entire life. Like I figured if in my whole life I made one person's life better, like impacted them in a positive way, that's all I could really ask for. So, um, so with that being said, I think when you live in this world, especially maybe in America, but probably all over, I think there's this pressure to like, do all you can and like be all you can be and like how like how many hats can I wear and like how many things can I accomplish and how many things can I put my put can I put <laughs> on my resume to kind of just be like oh look at all the things that I've done and like look at how great I am and everything but so I was just thinking about it um thinking about all these things that this woman has accomplished right and just the way that she's given back in the world because I think she started like an institute and she has like a Michelin star restaurant and like whatever right um not whatever because they're awesome but just like she has a lot of things she's done that I think are really cool um but I was just thinking so I think it's really easy to look at the things people have done in that way like physically how do I want to say it how people have physically impacted the world through what you can see right but then I was thinking what if, what if people 
impact the world in a really integral way, like a really vast way just by existing, like just by being themselves. And and in that facet, that's not something that you can really see. Like that's, it's kind of more of like an energetic thing in a way. Cause like, how do I want to explain this? One of my really good friends who passed away the other year, just his existence, like just meeting him completely changed my entire life because before meeting him, I honestly felt very alone in the world because I had a lot of people I loved and a lot of people that loved me, but I felt like I never really deeply connected with someone on a soul level um, where I felt that they really, really, truly saw me and my soul and like who I am per- like fully and like the, that they really loved that or that they saw that. It's hard to explain. But he's the first person I ever met, and this was back, I think, in 2017, maybe? 2016, 2017-ish was when I met him. And so I only knew him for about a couple of years before I ended up passing away. But so meeting him completely changed my life, and it, like, ignited a lot of things. I think it it had a huge impact in propelling my spiritual journey. Um it wasn't long after meeting him. I just, I don't know, I started having, he started exposing me to certain things. Like, I remember um, he sent me a passage from the book, The Four Agreements, and I loved it so much. It's just like the beginning statement or chapter, what have you. It's like the foreword or something. And then I was like, oh, dude, that's so amazing. And then maybe like a week later, I got it in the mail and he got it for me. And come to find out, I think he did that for a lot of people he re- that he was really close to. He would just like send this book to them or like give them this book. So he kind of got me into those more esoteric books. And then I ended up um, taking a Reiki level one course. And since then, I've completed, since then, I've completed all of them. So it's like he really like, ignited those things in me. But that's not something you can really put on your resume. But, like, how many people did he impact? Or, like, how many people have you impacted that you have no idea about? And I don't know if... I don't remember if I ever told him how much of an impact he had in my life. And I know I was very appreciative to him and I would share that with him. But I don't know if I ever told him, like, hey, man, you, like, completely changed my life just by you existing. And so that's, like, what I'm trying to share is that... I don't know, I guess if you're ever feeling like, I wish I accomplished more in my life so far, just know like there could be so many ways that you've affected the world in a positive way that you have no idea about. So I guess I'll leave you with that. And I really hope this finds you well. And I'll see you guys soon. I'll make another video soon. And I, for the people that watch my gaming stuff. I recently bought Two Point Hospital because it's on sale. And I bought Grease because I don't know if I'm saying that right, but G-R-I-S. I bought that because it was on sale too. <laughs> so I figured like, because Steam has so many sales all the time, it's like, why would I not wait until a game goes on sale to buy it if I'm not super crazy about getting it, if I don't need it right away, which I don't. So, so maybe I'll upload a video playing one of those or something else soon. So yeah, anyway, anyway <laughs> I hope this finds you well. And thanks for tuning in. And I'll talk to you soon. And sending lots of love and good things your way. Bye.